Hi, I'm Rob and welcome to 741 Outdoors. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at this 70 liter backpack that Nightcat sent me to review. Later in the video, we'll take a look at this backpack fully loaded with gear. But before I do that, let's do an overview of some of the features this backpack offers. Starting at the very top of the backpack, the outer flap has a shock cord strap on it so you can strap gear and cinch it down to the top of the back. There's also a pocket underneath the top flap for some gear. Now one thing I'll also mention here is that all of the zipper pulls on this backpack have these nice big straps with sort of a plastic coating on them so that you can grab these even if you have gloves on. To hold the top flap on, there are some buckles and straps that are adjustable to cinch this down. I'll undo these and we'll take a look inside the backpack now. Looking inside the backpack, sort of towards the front of it, there is a zippered pouch here that can be opened and closed. And then at the back of the main compartment, there is another pouch that does not have a zipper. There are a couple of Velcro straps here that you can use to kind of tie things up. And then way down at the bottom, there is sort of a flap between the main compartment and the lower compartment that can be unzipped so this can be a full pass through. So looking back on the outside front of the backpack, you can see there are double cinches to close up the main pouch and keep the weather out. Along the center near the top of the backpack is a loop strap so you can clip carabiners on here to hang various things. There's also a couple of shock cord loops here on either side presumably for trekking poles or some other small thing that you want to slip in here. <laughs> right in the center front of the backpack is a mesh pouch that is open on top. And on either side of the pouch are where the main straps are sewn. The top ones go up to the top flap to kind of hold that in place. And then the bottom ones form a loop here so that you can put sort of a sleeping bag or a sleeping pad or something here. On the bottom front of the backpack is the secondary pouch. And you can see this is double zippered with these nice zipper pull loops like we saw up top. So the inside bottom of the backpack is just one large component. But as I mentioned before, there is a zipper sewn in right here. So we can open this up to the main compartment and have just one large compartment. Or when this is closed, we obviously have the two compartments. Down at the bottom, we have a couple of more loop straps sewn right into the material. Down at the very bottom of the backpack is another compartment that contains the rain fly, but there is plenty of room in here if you wanted to put a few other things as well. You can see on this particular model, the rain fly is bright orange and expands out and has sort of a elastic strap at the bottom. So this can be placed over the backpack in inclement weather and cinched up at the bottom to keep the rain out. So looking at the other side of the backpack, we can see that down at the bottom, there is a nice padded waist strap with a adjustable buckle. The shoulder straps, of course, are padded and have adjustments down near the bottom. Now on the shoulder straps, there are also some loop straps and some D-rings for clipping various things too. And there's also an adjustable chest strap here. Up at the top, there's a loop sewn in, and this is presumably what you can use to hang this on a hook. And then at the top, you can see that the top of the shoulder straps are also adjustable here. Now there are also some pads integrated right into the canvas of the backpack to cushion this against your back. And then on both sides of the backpack, there are mesh pockets with elastic at the top to hold water bottles or other items that you want for quick access while you're hiking without taking the pack off. Now, I am not a fashion model by any stretch of the imagination, but I figured I would kind of model the backpack for you guys so you could see kind of how it sits on my back. You can see I've got a fair amount of gear packed inside and outside of this pack, and it's sitting pretty well on my body. Now, it actually feels quite comfortable. The pads in the back are doing their job, and the padded straps feel nice against my chest and sort of my midsection here. So I've got the waist strap and the chest strap cinched up and tight kind of where I want them. The shoulder straps are a little bit loose. You may be able to see the backpack pulling away from my shoulders a bit. I will need to take this off to adjust those straps. I can't quite reach them or figure out kind of where the adjustments are with it on my back. Having said that, it actually feels pretty comfortable the way that it is with all of the gear kind of loaded up inside and on the outside. Now, it's not completely full. I could put some more stuff in here and on the outside, but it's pretty comfortable the way it is. So to get these top straps adjusted, I just had to take the backpack off and find them. They were kind of stuffed under the top flap. 
once I got them kind of loose, I was able to bring them forward and now I can adjust the shoulder straps as I'm walking along with no problem. Now there's one thing I both like and dislike about this backpack at the same time, and that is this top flap. The thing I like about it is that you can easily uncinch it and open it up to get to the main compartment. And it opens up and comes completely out of the way so that you can open this up and get your stuff out without the flap being in the way. The inside compartment of this backpack is sort of double cinched. So even with the flap sort of not in place, this should be mostly weatherproof if this is cinched up tightly. But having said that, because this is not permanently attached at the back, when I kind of put this over the top, it's a little bit difficult to sometimes get it lined up and situated where I want. I think it would actually sit on here better if I had more stuff in here. But right now, I can kind of put the flap over, and on the front it's okay, but on the back, it just never really wants to kind of cinch down completely, especially when it's on my back. This can also make accessing the top adjustments for the shoulder strap a little bit difficult. When I had this on my back earlier, I was trying to adjust these and I just couldn't find them because they were hidden under the flap. But now if I pull these down like this, I should be able to access them the next time this is on my back. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this backpack. I think for the price point, this has a lot of features to offer and the quality of construction and materials are decent. If you're in the market for a hiking backpack, you may want to consider this offering from Nightcat. If you want to learn more about this backpack, I'll leave a link to the product page down in the video description below. But for now, thanks for watching.